So just before the break, we, we introduced this concept of, you know, one way to handle when we've got too much data to show, usually on an index view, right? And we talked about the bootstrap display properties and how we can add a class that defines, you know, basically on the screen size, whatever size it is that is being used to display the application, we can decide whether things should be visible or not. And we did a demonstration seeing how that can be useful when you have a situation like this, right? So here is our current medical office. By the way, I just downloaded this fresh copy from the solution posted in Blackboard for step 14, right? So right now, count them, I've got six columns of data. Remember my rule of thumb was five or six at most. And just thinking about the next material we're gonna cover here, uh, we're gonna be adding yet another column <laughs> to this index view, because what we wanna do is we wanna add a profile picture. Yes, an actual image of each patient, okay? And I'll probably stick it right at the left here. So it's gonna get more and more crowded as time goes on here, right? So I thought, well, maybe before we get into the new material proper, I'm gonna revisit that concept and just quickly see how we can do that, right? So remember what we talked about, we talked about prioritizing, okay? You know what, it's nice to have all this on the index if we can have space to show it, but you know, really much of it could be removed. I mean. Truth is, the whole history, the history of the uh, medical conditions in a person's past, that definitely could probably just be on details permanently and never even show on the index and so on. But, you know, without getting to that stage of actually <coughs> cutting out stuff and removing it all together, let's just look at maybe prioritizing what can disappear depending on the screen size we have available. So I'd say that history, the medical history, lowest priority of all. Right. Following that, whether they're in a medical trial, I would probably say that's the next least important. Right. Now, it's kind of nice for the receptionist, whoever, just to bring up this index to see this indication about how many visits per year the patient usually has. Gives them an idea of how often they, you know, probably come into the office. Nice to have, but, you know, really not life uh, critical <laughs> as well. So maybe history should go first, the medical trial and then the visits per year. And you know, even the age could on a really small screen be gone, right? And then go to the details to see it. So that's maybe the first thing. We'll just uh, kind of repeat that process that we did uh, the other day and we'll actually add it into here. So let me just close this for now, right? And come to Visual Studio. So remember, this is the kind of class we're gonna put in. And uh, again, I'm not gonna go over it because we just did it, but uh, if you go to the resource here on display properties explains how it all works. You can do this for table cells and so on and so forth and rows and that's what we're going to do. So we set off the uh, initial uh, classes and so on according to their priorities. So coming down to the views, here is our patient index. This is the one we were just looking at on the screen. Now, of course, starts off here with our whole filter section. So we'll get down below that. And here is the actual table, right? So we said the least important priority was probably this history, the medical history. So I come to the opening TH tag here, the table header, and I'll put that in, but I'm gonna say, if this is a massively big screen, double XL, right? Then I want it to be visible. Anything below that, it will go to the D dash none. Now the default is no visibility. It's not even shown, right? But if it happens to be double XL or larger, then this will be visible, right? So I'll do the same kind of thing here. Oh, ha, ha I've got that in the wrong one. Okay, history. There we go. All right. Yeah, so in the TH, opening TH tag for history, I'll put that. Now for medical trial, we said that would be the next lowest priority. So I'll make that just extra large, okay? One size down. And then same thing here for the uh, visits per year, right? I'll just bring that right down to large. And if I wanna continue on, oh, oh there we go. If I wanna continue on, maybe even hide the age in certain circumstances, I'll maybe, Go down to medium, all right? So now I have a whole series of priorities, double XL, XL, large, and medium, right? So it'll disappear as we, the screen gets narrower and narrower going down. Now, what I have to do is I have to make sure that I make all the same class modifications here, these bootstrap classes, not only in the header, but in each row, right? So remember how this works here, okay? For each item in the model, the model's that collection, 
an innumerable collection of patients, so each item is one patient. So age, this is the medium. Okay, the expected yearly visits. That's our large. And so on down here. So here we have our medical history of conditions. Yeah, so that is the double XL. I missed one. Okay, here. This is the one that is just extra large. This is our yes or no, are they in a medical trial? And if they are, then we have a tooltip with the name of the trial, right? All right, so let me just double check. Yeah, I think I have that all right. So let's just run it once more and see the effect. This is just kind of review but also preparation because we are going to be adding more and more to this index view so we might as well make it so that it will responsively show and hide information right there so see the age showed up there when we got up to a medium right then we get the uh, visits per year next we should have the medical trial showing up and finally the history is there as well so we have all the data so that's just a, a nice responsive design, and I wanted to get that in here before we actually start adding images for the patients. Okay, good. All right. Well, I might stop and start the recording just so it's a little separate because it's not the same topic that we're actually going to be covering next.